Get into your favorite meditation posture. Start by focusing on your breath. You can notice the coolness of the air against your nostrils when you inhale. The warmth of the air when you exhale. Focusing on the place where the air meets your body, your nostrils or your mouth. You can notice where your breath stops today. Is it sitting in your throat or perhaps your chest? Or is it getting down into your belly? You can notice the rhythm of your breath today. The rate at which your body rises and falls with every inhale and exhale. Now I'd like you to take a few deep breaths. Breathing in through your nose if you can, and out through your mouth if you can. I want you to try and get your breath all the way down into your belly, or as far down towards your belly as you can. You can picture your belly like a balloon that you're trying to inflate with every inhale, noticing it filling up, that you let the air out of slowly with every exhale. Once you've taken a few deep breaths, I'd like you to shift your focus to your body. Notice where you have any sensation in your body, where you're feeling any emotion, anxiety, tension, discomfort. Just notice what's going on with your body. Even ask yourself, where am I feeling the day today? Where do I feel the weight of the day today? Today we're going to take a look at feelings of jealousy or envy. I'd like you to think back to a situation that made you feel jealous. And consider any actions or conversations that triggered this feeling. Try and remember as much as you can about those actions or conversations, as well as any details about that particular circumstance that you might remember. What do you remember about what people were wearing? About the look or expression on their faces? Any smells? sounds, things that caught your eye that you remember. The 
essentially, I'd like you to try and relive the situation in your mind as best as you can in order to bring back the feelings of jealousy so that you can explore them safely here in this meditation. If you're just starting to feel that jealousy or envy rise up again, you can consider the specifics of the situation. What characteristics or specific circumstances made you feel jealous? Can you identify any particular moment, expression, thing that was said that triggered the strongest feeling within you. Being gentle with yourself, allow that emotion to arise again. By now, you should be feeling quite a bit of sensation in your body. Those feelings of jealousy or envy within you. I'd like you to shift your attention to the place in your body that you feel the most sensation. Where you might identify jealousy in your body. And I'd like you to put your right hand on this place on your body. Take a few moments to be with this feeling. To be with the sensation and know that it is okay for you to feel this way. If you have this emotion, it is for a reason. It's trying to teach you something. Silently in your mind and through your hand, you can tell this place in your body that it's okay to feel the way that it does and that you're here to just be with that feeling. You're just going to be with yourself to listen today. Now I'd like you to start to actually listen to this place in your body, what this feeling has to say to you. It will require you to trust whatever comes up and to listen to this space in your body, to listen to yourself the way you would a friend. The most compassionate friend, trying to just listen and understand how you feel. What's really at the core of how you feel. Start by asking this place in your body if there's anything it wants to tell you about this situation, if there's anything it wants you to know. Just trust whatever comes up.
Now, I want you to ask the space in your body what it was that worried you about the situation. What made you feel uncomfortable? And trust whatever comes up. Whatever response came up, acknowledge it and just set it aside for now. Then I'd like you to ask the space in your body, what are you really worried about in the situation? What are you really worried might happen? And trust whatever comes up this time, whether it's different or the same. Whatever response came up, acknowledge it, and put it aside for now. And ask the space in your body one more time, what are you really worried might happen? What really worried you about this situation? One last time, just trust whatever comes up, whether it's different or the same. Whatever came up, acknowledge it and put it aside for now. I'd like you to consider the idea that jealousy comes from comparing ourselves to other people. However, we're comparing apples to oranges. We are all different and those differences are appreciated, admired and respected by different people and in different situations. I want you to ask the space in your body what you're worried that you lack in this situation. What are you worried you don't have enough of? So your hand, ask the space in the body and trust whatever comes up.
Now, ask the space in your body what it is that you admire in the other person or in their situation. Notice what comes up. Can you see how you want some of that for yourself? Can you notice any craving for those characteristics or circumstances that this other person has? Consider the possibility This may be a need you have. How can you fulfill that need in yourself? Ask the space in your body how you might get more of that quality, characteristic, or circumstance in your life authentically and to fulfill your needs your way in a way that's right for you. Ask this place in your body and trust what comes up. And ask the space in your body if there's one thing that you can start to do today to start to fulfill that need. What is that one thing? Now, I'd like you to take a moment to picture yourself actually having that need fulfilled. That you do get more of what you want in your life. How would things be different? How might your way of being be different? How would you feel? Take a moment to consider how it might feel to have that need fulfilled. Finally, I'd like you to consider some of the admirable qualities that you have. Qualities that others may be jealous of in you, that they might wish they had more of. Consider that someone, somewhere, 
has been jealous of you in the past before too. And that you have so many admirable qualities and things to be grateful for about yourself and about your life too. Consider a few of these and acknowledge them by sending a bit of gratitude to yourself, to those qualities or circumstances in your life. Now that you better understand what worried you, what really worried you about that situation, what need you have that needs to be fulfilled, and remember all your positive qualities and circumstances, I'd like you to finish with the question, what do I now know? What did I learn from this experience? You can continue to consider the answer to that question as you hear the chime of the meditation bells. At the end of the third bell, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. <laughs>